Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can import the Word documents into your Confluence Cloud instance. So in many cases, your project documentation will be available in the Word documents and you would like to import those Word documents into Confluence to keep them in a common repository and then collaborate with the team within the Confluence. So we'll understand how you can or what are the steps that are involved to import the documentation properly into Confluence and then how you can use those documentation within Confluence. So let's get started. So the first thing to understand here is that say for example, I'll open the sample document. Here is the document that I have prepared the dummy document that will be importing. So here you can see these are the headings, right? And then we have some paragraphs, images and icons, etc. in this document. So let's see when we import this document into Confluence, how it looks like and how easily you can import the documentation within the Confluence. So let me close this and we'll go to Confluence, go to the home page and we'll go to a particular space. Okay, so say for example, I want to import the document into the space, RCV Academy knowledge base and say this is one of your project where you want to import all your project documentation which is there in the word file so you go to that particular space and in the right hand side you will get this more actions so click on this more actions ellipsis here go to advanced details and click on import word document right so when you click on import word document it will open the importer you just have to select the file to import so i'll click on the sample doc file click on open and it will start the upload you will see that file uploaded successfully message and then we will click the button to proceed so we'll click on the import to go to further options that we need to select so here you will see that i'm at the space level okay now here are some of the configuration options that are very important to understand now where you want to import this particular sample documentation so you'll see that root page title is the page title that has been by default taken as the name of the sample name of the documentation right so the name of the documentation is sample doc so that's taken as the root page title and then in the where to import you will have you'll have option to import as the new page in the current space so if you select import as new page in the current space it will create a new page below this page structure if you say replace rcv academy knowledge base right so what this will do is it will replace the whole knowledge base and if you check this delete existing children of rcv academy knowledge base everything below this space all the pages will be deleted so we do not want to delete anything we simply want to import so let me uncheck this we simply want to import as a new page in the current space so in this particular space rcv academy knowledge base space i will import a new page which is the word document then in the title conflict say for example there is an existing title with the same name then what this option will do is it says rename imported pages if the page name already exists say for example sample doc page exists so what this option will do is it will rename the pages to sample doc 01 accordingly or we have option to replace or remove existing pages with imported title so depending on your requirement you can choose the title conflict options then the third option is split by heading which is very very important so if you say if you select the drop down you have the option level one two and three headings here and you have option to don't split if you said don't split so what will happen is this whole word document right so the sample doc word document will be imported as one single document and this whole thing with all the headings and everything all the content will be imported into one particular document okay so everything that you see here will be imported in one document if you select that you want to split based on level one heading say for example so because this document has four headings so heading one four and all these headings are level one headings so if you go to here you will see all these headings are level one headings and because of that what will happen is that all these headings will be splitted into each page and content below those headings will be part of that particular page so because there are four headings of level one then there will be four pages so we do not want to create four pages we simply want to import this whole document as a one document so we'll simply keep it as 
don't split and click on import so once you click on import it will start the import process and once this progress is complete you will get a success message that import has been successful so you can see that it is successful now and i can click so here you can see that sample doc zero because i think sample doc was already imported i imported it once prior to recording this video so sample doc was already existing and that's why it has been renamed to sample doc zero because there was an existing doc and we selected that do not overwrite rename the new document right and you can see the whole document is now part of this sample doc zero and everything with along with the headings are part of this particular right so here if we see under the pages you can see that this knowledge base if you go to the knowledge base go to pages and you can see that this is the latest document that we have uploaded sample doc zero right and this sample doc zero having all the information that was there this particular document along with the icon images and headings now this is not very well formatted the spacing between the paragraph is not there so what you can quickly edit this page right after importing you can go ahead and change the title if you want to you can change or you can add the spaces if you want to align the images to center or right you can simply select the image and use the alignment or all the options that you are and very quickly you can format your page and make it more presentable right so once it is all done then you can simply click on this publish let me move this a little bit click on the publish and the changes will be so now you can see that well formatted and you can see the image is center aligned there are spaces between the paragraphs so that's how import any word document into confluence right now the next important thing is we have previously imported the this document at the space level right so we went to the space and then we added or imported the document from the advanced details at the now there are options where say for example this is one of the page right heading abc0 i want to import or replace the content here yeah say for example heading xyz and i want to replace this content with the content that is there in the word document so i'll open this page click on this ellipsis here go to advanced details and click on import word document and select the file so i'll select the file to import select the doc file open it will start the upload process and once this import is enabled click on import and here you can see that you have this root page title okay so if you want to say for example here you want to import with a particular title then you can change the title and you can choose the first option import as a new page or say for example i want to replace this heading xyz with the content that is there in the word file so i'll select replace heading xyz and then if i want to delete any existing children that are there i can check this checkbox so it will delete all the children's that are below this particular page and in the title conflicts i'll just keep it as default rename imported pages if they exist and i won't split this by the headings because if i'll split it will create separate pages uh, depending on the number of headings on in that particular page so i will select don't split and i will click on so you'll see the content of heading xyz0 will be replaced by the new content that is there in the word document so let the import finish and once the import has finished this link here after the success message and below this page now you will see that it has imported the new content with all the data that is there in the new file right so heading xyz previously it didn't had this much content now the whole content of this particular page is the page that is there in this particular okay so this is how you can replace the content of the existing pages within confluence with the pages with the content that is there in the word document or you can create new pages um, in the hierarchy or you can create uh, a completely new page at the space level so there are numerous possibilities so go ahead and explore the import options yourself with different options with different uh, combinations and see that 
it fulfills the needs that you are looking for while importing and then go ahead and import the documents in your actual production so that's a piece of advice go ahead and practice and see how the import will look like and then uh, maybe you can create a dummy project and you can practice or you can see how the import will happen and then in the actual production data or the project go ahead and import the actual documents have those documents available in confluence for easy collaboration so that's all for this tutorial on how to import the word documents within confluence i hope it was helpful thank you very much